of Super Bowl, Super Bowl 55, in the quarterback matchup of quarterback matchups. Patrick Mahomes, who won it last year, versus Tom Brady, who won it the year before. Like almost all the other years on top of that as well. A lot at stake here. Mahomes can join Brady as the only quarterbacks to win two titles in their first four seasons. But even more than that is the whole going to Disney World thing. So we got a lot to discuss. Nick, what do you think? Mahomes will ever be able to catch Brady as the GOAT if he loses to him in the Super Bowl? Oh, what a great question, Jenna Wolf. So... You don't want to say evers or nevers in sports, especially when guys such as Tom Brady are rewriting the rules on how long people can play. But from a narrative perspective and from a logistical perspective, I do believe it becomes damn near impossible for Mahomes to ever scale the Brady Mountain if he loses a week from Sunday. Really? If he loses a week from Sunday, it'll be assuredly the final time they ever play. They won't play in the regular season again for four years. And the only way they could play in the postseason is if these t same two teams make the Super Bowl. Brady will have won right. the career series 3-2. to two. Brady, more importantly, would have won the playoff career series 2 nothing, And he would have seven rings instead of six, and Mahomes would, of course, still be sitting at one. Because of all that and because the narrative would be, man, they played twice in the playoffs. Brady got the better of him both times. Even though the first time they met in the playoffs, Mahomes was brilliant. Three touchdowns, no picks, a 117 rating. And Brady was not. One touchdown, two picks, should have been three on the D Ford offsides, and a 77 rating. That won't matter. So... D Ford offsides. Wilds can laugh all he wants. That's one of his many okay. fraudulent Super Bowl rings, thanks to that. A quarter, little quarter centimeter offsides. If it was JPP lining up, he'd have been safe. But it doesn't matter. So I do think Mahomes has to win this game, Brandon, because then it's six to two. Then he yep. he has the career head-to-head -head record. They're split in the playoffs, but Mahomes would have beaten him in a Super Bowl versus an AFC title game. So if we're looking out 15, 20 years. I think if Mahomes wants to be considered the greatest quarterback ever, he's got to win Sunday. Yeah, I love this discussion because this is this is not supposed to happen, Nick. Think about this. This is LeBron James and Michael Jordan on the biggest stage. This is the matchup we all wanted to see. If Patrick Mahomes lose this game, it's damn near impossible for him to catch Tom Brady. But if he win it, there's... A lot we can talk about here, but there's also yep. a lot to consider. Major things that we need to consider. There's three things that we need to look at if he wins this game. Injury. The National Football League has a 100% injury rate. What does that mean? That means every guy that enters the into NFL enters the into NFL will, potent will potentially get injured somehow, some way. Tom Brady, 2008, went down with an ACL injury. Think about that. Not every guy comes back from these major injuries. Now, medicine is better. Technology is better. So guys are going to play longer. Guys are going to recover faster. But it's something that we all need to consider. The biggest opponent to each player in the National Football League is the injury rate. Number two, another thing that we need to consider. Throw it up there. Coaching. Tom Brady had Bill Belichick for 20 years. He was in the same system. The worst thing you can do to any quarterback is change up the coaching, change up the system, change up the language. Like these guys are, are creatures of habits. Andy Reid, Nick, I'm sorry. If Andy Reid sitting at 62, if he goes, if he goes and wins a, a Super Bowl and then he wins another, I'm sorry, but he's not going to last longer than five, ten more years. So this is going to be a major issue and a major concern. And the last thing is team. There's this myth out there, all right? There's this narrative that Tom Brady didn't have all the talent in the world, right? Like we've talked about that the last three or four years. That's a lie. Tom Brady was always surrounded by talent. Now, was there moments 
uh, in seasons or maybe a year or two where they were depleted at the wide receiver position. Absolutely. But one thing for sure, you always got to protect the quarterback, and he always was standing upright, always had protection, yep. and that defense and always defenses. was a bend but don't yep. break defense. So when you think about this, these are things to consider when we have this discussion. It's a great discussion because this is the matchup we wanted to see between Michael Jordan, or we would like to see between Michael Jordan and LeBron James on the biggest stage. 20 years from now, we will be debating Michael Jordan and LeBron, but we won't be debating this if Mahomes wins this game and continues on this path of just lights out play. Okay, so Nick, I'm going to push back on you and I'm going to give you hope. I think the door is shut on Mahomes trying to reach Brady's GOAT status if it's a classic shootout. Mm. If it's a shootout or a game like we saw with Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, I think it's like, all right, Brady's the GOAT. But Brady has been inv involved in several Super Bowls where that didn't, that weren't shootouts. The first Super Bowl, he threw for 145 yards, and Vinatieri yeah. won it, and then Vinatieri won the next one. And then Pete Carroll doesn't give the ball to Marshawn Lynch, and Malcolm Butler picks it off. And then we had the lowest yep. Super Bowl ever, scoring Super Bowl ever, it's 13 to three. And as you know, you know, everybody knows Super Bowl MVP Julian Edelman had a big game, 10 catches, 140 yards. So Hall unless it's a shootout, Hall of Famer, did I not say Hall of Famer? I'm sorry, Hall of Famer Julian Edelman. No, you didn't. Also, it's Super Bowl so MVP. Sometimes all the accolades. You don't have to say it. Get, get confused. Sorry. <laughs> but if it, is a, if it is a weird Super Bowl or anything other than a pure shootout, I feel like Mahomes could lose the game and the Chiefs could lose the game and be like, all right, Mahomes played great. The, the door is not closed on the GOAT conversation. Yeah, yeah I would think that if they were up against the Packers. But it's not that just that Mahomes wouldn't get the win. It's that Brady gets to seven. And I think yeah, that okay. would be, uh, it would be, there is a universe yeah. that exists that in 2018, the Patriots don't get the coin toss and the Chiefs win that Super Bowl. And then if they win this one, Mahomes has never lost in the playoffs, has three rings, and Brady only has five. And in that universe, I think you could argue Mahomes is already the greatest quarterback ever. But that's not what happened in 2018. And this year, if it gets to seven to one, it is just such, I think that mountain becomes unscalable. Yeah. But if Mahomes does win it, the GOAT conversation is a five, 10, 15 year horizon. Here is a 10 day horizon. Patrick Mahomes could be 10 days away from the greatest start to any career for any team sport athlete ever. Wayne Gretzky yeah. won eight yeah. straight MVPs, but didn't win a championship for five years. Kareem won an MVP and one championship, but didn't win another championship for the better part of a decade. Jim Brown won two MVPs in his first two seasons, but didn't win a championship for eight years. If Mahomes in his first four years in the league is seven and one in the postseason, has two championships, has a league MVP, has one or two Super Bowl MVPs.
I do believe it becomes damn near impossible for Mahomes to ever scale the Brady Mountain if he loses a week from Sunday. Really? If he loses a week from Sunday,